Welcome to the Life Life Balance Abacus tutorial. This is the tutorial for the essential version. The Abacus is a tool to help you keep track of your personal finances. It is built in Microsoft Excel and you must have Excel version 2007 or later installed on your computer to use it. So you can see here on this screen, the opening screen, you'll have this once you've downloaded and unzipped the file and just opened it like any other Excel document. We're currently on the Start Here tab. And this is uh, what you'll see when you first open it. So we need to set up the tool. The first step to do this is to set the date from which you want to start recording your finances. You can see here, you select the start month, and then you select the start year. The next step is to set the spending and income categories which are applicable to you. By default, the following categories are filled in, like so. But you can change them to whatever fits you. So for example, you might not pay rent. Uh, you might want to change that category to mortgage instead. Make sure you set these up completely before you begin using the tool. And you note that further down we have these tan and brown cells. These are for your income categories. You can select whether or not you want these to be included or excluded from your net income. So main job is included. And then, for example, income tax here, that's excluded. A little further down, these grey cells here, these are for inputting your savings. Do not enter any spending categories here. The third step to set up the abacus is to set your currency. So right now it's set to US dollars, but you can select any major currency that you wish. That's it, the abacus is now ready to use. So let's show you how that works. To begin, head over to the Transactions tab here. This is where you input your spending. So each row represents a transaction. We've already got some data in here for uh, some examples. So you can see the first row, we have your main job. You can see you have paid that on the first of the month. You have paid $1,000 and you've selected main job as the category. You can see there's uh, some other examples here. You've got on the next row, uh, water bill, we've added that to the notes section. You've got a holiday and you've got a taxi to hotel. And you can see this taxi obviously occurred in a foreign currency. In this case, it looks like pounds from the exchange rate, which you can enter depending on whichever exchange rate uh, is present on the day when you're spending that foreign currency. Um, now let's add another example just to make it nice and clear. Let's say uh, on this date, I went to the supermarket and I bought some groceries for $50. I'm going to enter the dollar amount there. Then I'm going to select supermarket from the drop down categories. Remember, these are the categories we customized on the start here tab. You'll recognize them there. Uh, in this case, I don't think I need to add any notes. Um, so that's how the transactions tab works. Now, if I head over to the totals tab just here, this is where I can get the picture of my finances. The four boxes at the top give you the headlines of your personal finances. So you can see on the left we have the $1,000 income that we added to the transactions tab. And you can see the next box along you have the $418 you've spent so far. Again, that's the, the sum of the spending transactions that we've entered. Below we have all the breakdowns by month. Uh, and by category. So you can see here all the, the spending that we've done so far has been in July as we entered and you can see there's the $50 uh, that we spent in the supermarket that we entered just now. If we keep scrolling down all the data that we've inputted gets nicely graphed like so and here as well in all these nice different formats to help make sure that you've really got a handle on your your spending. That's a complete overview of the tool. On a final note, some of our users say that inputting their data is quite time consuming um, and we'd like to say that at Life Life Balance we've all been using variations of this tool for years and it does take a little bit of discipline but if every week you sit down for 15 minutes and enter details from your bank statement it will actually force you to think about your spending 
and it will really improve your ability to take control uh, over your personal finances. That concludes the tutorial for the essential version. To download the tool and for hundreds of useful articles, check out www.thelifelifebalance.com. Thanks for watching.